Our society has begun looking down on women who live traditional homemaking lives. For many years, homemaking was the default for women. Married women stayed home to cook, clean, sew, raise children, and support their husbands. When homemaking was the norm, there sadly were many women who were pressured into it by society or, or their husbands. But that simply is no longer the case. Women are not being forced to stay home. We are way past that time. Everyone absolutely deserves the choice to work. It's completely ridiculous that there was ever a time when women were pressured into homemaking. But modern women who stay home do it by their own volition. No one is being forced into homemaking. They're choosing it. More often now, women are being forced to have jobs, whether for financial reasons or, sadly, just to sell the pressure. A 2015 Gallup poll shows that 56% of mothers prefer homemaking to working. And many millennial couples have begun embracing traditional gender roles. And yet, being a homemaker or stay-at-home mom has never been so looked down on. People are beginning to view homemakers as leeches or women who aren't living up to their full potential. Women are expected to pour themselves into their career. And society acts as if the only way a woman could possibly find fulfillment is if they find it in their job. Third-wave feminists claim to support all women. They constantly preach empowerment and love. But this support and love is a lie. Feminists do not support every woman. They only support women who share their ideals and who live a life they deem empowering. If you don't help further their agenda or agree with their views, they do not love you. You're just enemy number one to them. Instead of just being in the home, women now have the choice to have careers, which is really awesome until people forget that this should be a choice. Young women and girls are constantly preached. You can be anything you want. You could be a doctor or a lawyer or an astronaut. But when those young women want to be homemakers or stay-at-home moms, feminists instantly withdraw their support. If I can be a lawyer, why can't I be a homemaker? If I can be an astronaut, why can I not be a stay-at-home mom? How come when I'm asked what I want to be when I grow up and I answer a stay-at-home mom, people scoff? When did raising children and taking care of the home become the subject of ridicule? If I answered that question by saying I wanted to be a lawyer, I would be celebrated and exalted for being such a strong and confident woman. But when was it decided that homemakers are not strong, confident women? Society has a fictitious belief that homemakers are either forced by their husbands to stay home all day and labor away in the kitchen, or they're just manipulative, lazy gold diggers who want that ring and trip to Paris. People cannot seem to grasp the idea of a woman who loves her home and loves her family and feels happy and fulfilled taking care of them. Homemakers are not weak women who are forced by their husbands to stay home. They are strong, confident women who are exercising their right to a choice. They are purpose-driven women who volunteer in their community, take care of their elderly parents, have a part-time job, or run a small business. They look after the home, they support their husbands, and most importantly, they raise the next generation. Some stay-at-home moms even take on the responsibility of their children's education by homeschooling. My mom has been a stay-at-home mom for most of my life. She homeschooled my brothers and I for eight years, and she's always been there for me. I would love to be able to be that kind of mom for my children. Having a stable family member at home, at home to parent a child rather than having to rely on babysitters, preschools, elementary schools, and nannies is better for the child and can, pre and can prevent stress in the family being and can prevent stress on the family unit as a whole. Treating homemakers as unimportant or second-rate to working women is a disgusting and offensive misjudgment. Not every woman is called to be a homemaker. And I have nothing but respect for women who work. I am not here saying, women belong in the kitchen, women don't deserve rights, no women should have careers. Not every woman is in a situation where she can financially be a homemaker. And simply, not every woman is called to be a homemaker. There are 
are so many amazing women who gracefully balance work and family. But women, young girls should be encouraged to have careers, but they also should never be belittled for wanting to be homemakers. It is wonderful that women now have the choice to have careers. It is a choice they absolutely deserve. But it is crucial that we give homemakers the same respect we give to working women. In the past few decades, the role of homemaker has been sorely underrated. With the rise of feminism, the role of homemaker has been significantly devalued. I really don't appreciate the bewildered snares and snide comments I receive when I say that my dream job is to be a homemaker. Why would I not want to raise my children and support my husband? We must become more accepting of homemakers as they are fundamental to our society and they are raising the next generation. 